Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am back today with Social General Rob Hi. for some Star Wars Armada, which Rob and I have not played in a while. Oh. So Rob is, well I have played obviously, I was at Depticon <laughs> a few weeks ago, but Rob hasn't and he's gotten the itch again. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we are going to be uh, pulling out some different fleets, and I'm going to be trying out a fleet that potentially might be something I do in the summer for the Lone Star Open that's many months away. But oh. It's like a test for that, and Great. Rob's kind of doing something that he is new to him as well. Yep. So uh, we'll go over those here in a little bit shortly, but don't forget that uh, for the March and April giveaway, be sure to subscribe and comment on my videos, enter in for the really awesome um, Battletech and Armada um, prizes that Garrett is putting together. So coming up next will be the fleets in the mission. For the Empire, we have Admiral Sloan on a Raider 1 Corvette with the Corvus title, a Quasar Fire 1 with flight controllers, boosted comms, and expanded hangar bay, and a Kuat with Emperor Palpatine, Ordnance Experts, Electronic Countermeasures, Point Defense Ion Cannons, and Assault Proton Torpedoes. A Gazanti Cruiser with Bomber Command Center, and six TIE Defender Squadrons. For the Rebels, we have an MC-75 Armored Cruiser with General Maydeen, Kirsta Agate, Kate Cannon Sholin, Link Turbolaser Towers, Electronic countermeasures, flechette torpedoes, and point defense ion cannons. An MC-30 torpedo frigate with Lando, Ordnance Experts, Foresight, and Assault Proton torpedoes. A TRC-90 with Jaina's Light and of course TRCs. And a GR-75 with Torn Far, Parts Resupply, and Bright Hope. And for the Rebel squads we have Dutch, Wedge, Shara, and a YT-2400. For missions, we are both at 400 points, and we had a roll off in Rob 1 and chose to be second. And his missions were Surprise Attack, Planetary Ion Cannon, and Dangerous Territory. And I chose to go with Planetary Ion Cannon, and after we place obstacles, Rob will place three objective tokens, and at the end of each command phase, Rob can choose one of the tokens to shoot at an enemy ship at distance 1 to 3. And it would be four blue dice, um, not obstructible, and it can be shot at any hole zone with a specialty crit of making me exhaust one of my defense tokens. So coming up next, you will see us deploying in a sped up overlay where Rob and I talk about our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the fleets in the mission, you're going to see us deploying here in a sped up overlay below us. While Rob and I talk about our fleets and their design, etc. Mm -hmm. So, for mine, uh, this is a bit of a departure. I've always wanted to try, I think I've done it maybe once in the past, but I, I want to try to legitimately do a Sloan Defender list and put that together for um, tournament play. So this is a foundational build to start off with uh, for tournaments and the soonest one like I said is Lone Star Open in July so it's a ways away but wanted to just get this out just because I'm in the mood for it and <laughs> so this will be my first time not bringing Thrawn to a tournament and also I've uh, you know everybody does it there's nothing new but you know putting the commander not on the big ship which is what I think should always be happen, you know, you want the commander on the flagship, but, you know, for trying to be smart tournament play, right. Sloan is on a Raider 1 Corvus, which everybody does, that's another thing new, I'm not reinventing no. the wheel here. Um, I'm still at 400 points, I'm not, I can't do that yet, can't give up points for a bid, mainly because I don't care what turn I go, I can be first player or second, doesn't matter to me. Um, but, so, that's the core, obviously we got Sloan, Raider, Corvus, and six defenders. So those are that's kind of like the foundation of this build as it's going to evolve when I play it more um, as I get ready for the Lone Star Open. But uh, Sloan with lots of defenders, and the reason why that's so good is because defenders 
Mm -hmm. Anything works. So you get an accuracy, Sloan can uh, yep. benefit from that. If you get a crit, you can reroll it with Sloan. If you get a crit again, fine, they're bombers, so the crits count. Mm -hmm. um, and so the second part of that is having the Gazanti of Bomber Command to allow even more rerolls. Um, so just to fish for those accuracies, or if I've already so. if I've already stripped the tokens, to reroll out of an accuracy to try to get a hit or something to actually do damage. Mm -hmm. And so it'll be interested to see how that plays. And then the next um, part is then the quasar for you know standard quasar to be the carrier. Um, flight controllers again just to maximize their efficiency. Three blues, two blacks when going after squads and boosted comms so I can keep my carrier as far back as possible and still command. And so far this is turning into kind of like a standard Slonager list that people bring all the time. <laughs> and we saw all over the place at Adepticon, which is to be expected. Well, yeah. um, but one thing I didn't do is an Onager. I don't, you know, Onagers, you know, whatever. I prefer ISDs. So fortunately, um, you know, I was able to actually fit a Kuat in here. So got the Kuat mm. is gonna be my firepower. So the plan is is to have the defenders basically strip tokens or if they're hits, that's great, still doing some damage. And then the Kuat then follows up and hopefully finishes off whatever that target was. And I built the Kuat to be kind of like a battering ram. It's got Palpatine on there, so if you shoot out, you have to spend a token as well. It just helps with the Sloan effect. It's got ECM, so I can use the brace. Um, PDICs, if I remember to use it. Um, <laughs> but basically, it's designed to... I, I fully expect, you know, Kuat in most games I play, I'm assuming I stick with this particular setup as we get closer, mm -hmm. um, to die, which is fine. I think it's like 134 points. But, based on this design, which, again, I didn't reinvent the wheel here, if I play it right, I should never be tabled, because I should never be putting Sloan and the Raider in danger. They should never Correct. have a chance to be destroyed. Um, so, even at the very worst, you know, but also, I should be able to get a lot of points by, I mean, this is just a lot of firepower coming in. Yeah. And if people choose to ignore the Kuat, try to go after the Quasar, great. That means the Kuat is still going to be hammering you. Right. So, it's uh, we'll see how it plays. It's, again, I and I can't remember if I've done a Sloan Defender um, before. I think when I did, it was just for like casual play, and obviously Sloan was on the Star Destroyer and all that good stuff. I don't think it, it was six. I don't think uh, I had six on it though. Oh, I I, I don't remember. But um, anyway, but this was a uh, but this is. You know, I played Thrawn for two years now doing tournaments, and I love Thrawn. And but it's time to make a change mm -hmm. and maybe try to get a little bit more maybe serious. So that's why, again, slowing on a lifeboat still bugs me a little bit. She should be on the ISD, but that's all right. And uh, also, again, moving away from Thrawn. But I still went to Sloan. Everybody does Sloan, but Sloan's my second favorite commander in the game. So I went from my favorite to my second favorite. So at least it's a small move. As far as deployment here, um, this is pretty much going to be how I'm going to deploy most games starting off, as you guys are watching, is Corvus in the middle, Defenders in the middle, and Defenders can move speed 5 so I can they can redeploy turn 1 anywhere I want them to be. Um, the Gazanti again, is, not, is just a nice garbage placement. I don't care. I mean, Bomber Command Center is good, but again, it can also just do nabs to catch up wherever my main fleet goes. In this particular setup, you know, I need to avoid those ion cannon placements. And the way that Rob's set up, it looks like the engagement's going to be um, with the way you guys are watching on the right side of the board. Right. Um, and I should be able to avoid the ion cannon placements, but we'll see. So, anyway, that's my fleet, the setup. And uh, we'll see how it plays out in the first, first experiment with this list. And suggestions welcome um, as for a potential tournament fleet for Lone Star Open, because that'll be the first tournament I play in this year. And uh, just keep in mind the foundation is going to be Sloan, Corvus Raider, six defenders minimum. There's a version of this with eight defenders that I've been playing around, but I don't own eight defenders yet, so I might look into that. Well, you could borrow some, because right. I have a couple. Well, I'd want them to all look the same. It'd, oh. it'd bug me. <laughs> you don't, need, not, a, you uh, don't need to bug them anymore. Than no, I need to get them painted <laughs> by Robbie so they at least yeah. have the same paint scheme. Right. Anyway. Right. 
All right, so Rob, why don't you tell me about your fleet and sure. uh, your deployment setup. Okay. Well, my fleet is ran by Medin. Now, yes, I did debate about bringing um, Akbar, but I've been having fun in the past couple games that I've had with Medin. Uh, one was at the last Downsize It uh, tournament that we had, and it was the first time playing them. And I had a blast with them. I, I, it, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Uh, and then I played against Buster Banshee. Uh, he and I just played at home here, just for the heck of it. And it was great. I really enjoyed playing Medine. And it's going to help me a lot of maneuver, maneuver room, which I'm still practicing. And I think this might be my third favorite camera editor. So my second is Dudano, which I almost again brought to, but uh, I was trying to get away from them and try to get something different. Kind of like what Ben said, let's try something different. So I said, Medine, you're doing great, let's have some fun. So hopefully my plan is to kind of maneuver around and maybe take out a, well, not sure about the Kuat too much, but take out basically his uh, Quasar and maybe if I'm lucky enough to get Sloan, which is gonna be difficult. I already know that. Uh, Corvus moves pretty well on her own. Uh, same problem as Ben. I do not like putting Medine on a lifeboat. He was going to be on Jaina's light over here, but uh, it just did not feel right. I can't do it. And all I could think of was that Ben just going to aim whatever squadrons he's bringing right at, at him and just blow him up. And you go, ha ha, try to move it out, Rob. And uh, so anyways, this, this fleet is not totally, completely done the way I want it yet. Um, it's a foundation, as Ben was saying. Uh, I nicknamed this the Maddening Fleet, and not because of Medin. It's because it drove me mad for the whole week. <laughs> I had several different versions I was trying, and none of them just seemed to work for me. So this is the one I did settle in on. I love the MC-30. I really want that in there. Um, if I get two, it'd be great. I love my CR-90s too, that's another thing. So I was like, ugh. And I thought, why not have a decently fast ship that can do a lot of damage? Um, and that's the MC-75, armored cruiser. And I thought, you know, that's going to move. It's got a decent uh, maneuverability chart. And with Medine, it getting better. And I can get in there and do what I need to do. So the ion cannon placements, the reason why I put them there, was I didn't actually think Ben was actually going to go in that direction. I thought he'd go in the opposite direction. I mean, I was hoping he'd go where he's at. But, uh, and I'm sure he can change that any way he wants to anyways. He's very good at Imperial flying. But I want the extra firepower to hit whatever I need to hit. Hopefully one of his ships, because he has squadrons. But if I take out his Xanti, if I can take out his carrier, or even the ISD, great. And if I'm lucky enough, which I highly doubt, um, that Sloan will fly right into one, um, that would be great too. Now, the way I got him angled, yeah, I'm a little nervous about the quad. Uh, I, I've seen Ben use a quad. The, he does use them the way he said. He uses them as a, that's his gunboat. It goes in there, if it goes down, it goes down but it's gonna take down whatever it's going against. So it's like, mm hmm a little nervous. But I got PDICs on here. I got electronic countermeasures, hopefully help me out. Um, Krista Gate is an officer is on here. And since it's a uh, blue and red ship, it should help me get any um, tokens I need to be refreshed and such. So a defensive for that. The MC-30 has Lando and foresight for defenses and as ordnance ex, uh, experts and the assault proton torpedoes hopefully to get some little extra punch in there and then the cr90 uh, it has the turbo uh, trc's and it has gina's light 
Now, the party bus has changed a little bit. Torin is still on it. I, lo I love Torin. She's going to help me out my squadrons. Uh, and the Bright Hope is still on it. But I put Pot's Resupply on there. And that is to help out everybody get, well, especially Medine, with his um, electronic countermeasures, you know, get tokens and stuff like that, without having her to have comms net on there. Which might have been cheaper, and I'm not really sure what I'd throw in there if I did. But this is something that I do want to make. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, Lone Star yet, but I do want to even use it just even for our November tournament that we have here. Um, so I want to use Medine. I try to stay away from Bakbar. No offense to Akbar. He's done a great couple of years, and I think he needs a little rest for a while. Um, and I really, really want to try these ships. I don't know. It's just something about them. I've been drawn to them, especially after watching the Adepticon um, tournament and stuff like that. And I've seen some of them used. I don't know if I saw an MC-75, but I did see the MC-30s being used and the CR-90s, and they're just beautiful. Squadrons, we have Dutch and Wedge, the fantastic duo over here. That is going to help me hopefully take down some of those <laughs> defenders. Um, followed by Shara, which is always a good uh, squadron to have, especially when you're going against something like a defender. And then we have a YT-2400 um, Rogue, so that the party bus doesn't have to keep commanding it all the time, or whoever else is going to be commanding it. So that is the basics of it the fleet and can't say anything more about it really guys I mean it's I got link turbo towers only on the MC 75 and hopefully that will help me against any defenders that come towards it and rerolls of course Caitlin and Sholin I do have flechette torpedoes which I'm actually excited to play um, I read them I, I kind of like these it's kind of cool kind of cool and again as Ben said if you have any recommendations or anything like that again this is not set in stone or anything like that the only thing is is mc30 and medine i would like to keep um but any other things are great suggestions i'll take uh so yeah i think that's really about it all right so rob and i will plan our dials and we'll be back at the start of round one All right, here we are, start of round one. Uh, we got Sloan here on the Corvus. And then the rest of my fleet, everybody's going to speed one for me. And as you can see, we have our the objective tokens showing where the ion cannons are going. Jane and Slot, we got going speed two, Bright Hope speed one, and then speed three for the MC-30, MC-75. All right, and we will start with Sloan to navigate, taking a token. And just going forward, speed one for now. All right. Up next is Bright Hope. It is a squadron command. It's going to be taking the token, and we're going to move up straight. Speed one towards the station. All right. We've got Palpatine on the Kuat in engineering taking a token. And speed uno, just straight for now. All right, up next we have Jaina's Light. And uh, it is a navigation dial. I will be using it to go up to speed three. And I'm just going to go straight. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. All right. Gazanti. Navigate taking a token. You guys, I'm sure are seeing a theme for all these. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run over some defenders, but don't really care because they move really fast. Actually, I might not run over any defenders. How about that? Let's see. Actually, you might be all right. Let's see. Oh, no, you're fine there, I think. I think I hit. No, I didn't. No. Nope. that. Not with the tokens. You're flying, man. All right. 
Yep, next is the MC30 with Lando. And it is a navigational dial, which I will be using. And I'll be using the extra click at the one and Medine's click at the two. So I bump up right up here and navigate right between these. All right, got the Quasar. It is a, oh, that's not the Quasar, this is the Quasar. Navigational dial. Using it as the dial. Speeding up to speed two. Gonna do this little side shuffle here. I think. Ooh. Uh, no, we're not. We're just gonna go straight. But I do want to speed up to two. Mm. Oh, still not landing on anything. Okay, up next is Medine himself on the MC-75. It is an engineering dial, which I took as a token. And I am going to be just going right on up here, right in front of this asteroid field. All right, that's it for ships. Next is squads. I don't anticipate anybody engaging anything round one. So I'll just review that at the start of round two. Start of round two. Not a lot going on in the squad phase. I just redeployed my defenders to stage them in formation and rob. Did the same with his squadrons. All right, we got Sloan to navigate using the dial. Drop it to zero. Stay in put. Okay, up next is Jane's Light. Jane's Light is a navigation dial which I will be using. I uh, go to speed four, and then using the dial click, we'll say from what I click at one to turn. And then at the two, I will be using Medine's little extra little click. At three. Three, I'm sorry. All right, going with my Gazanti with Bomber Command. It is a Navigate. And I'll use it as the dial. And maneuvering like so. Did land on a Defender. Where would you like to place this guy, Rob? Oh, let's see. Um, i throw you off a little here, Ben. I, I, I know you like your things looking really nice. But it's going to be on the starboard side of the Gazanti, um, next to, or in the side, a little closer to your other defender. As close as you can get it anyways. Yep, right there. That looks fine. Just throw you off a little. All right, Lando on the MC-30 Foresight. Uh, it's gonna fly into the hornet's nest. It's gonna turn some bees up. So, it is a navigation dial. It's going up to speed four. And it's gonna go straight ahead. All right, I'll go with my quasar. It is a squadron command. <laughs> we will use it as a squadron command. Mm -hmm. I was planning just taking a token, but since. I gave you the opportunity. Yeah, you did. Let me just double check something here. Not medium range, just squad attacks. So let's move on over here to where the squad attacks will be taking place. We are going to go in and start attacking Lando. Bombs away. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see, we'll do this fender back here. Makes sense. Um, we'll just go into the front, I think. All right, one blue. All right. It's a hit. I'm gonna bomber command. It's a hit. So a hit. Okay. <clears throat> it's a hit. I will take it on the. I'll take it on the front shield. Okay. Next defender. Into the front. It's an accuracy. Oh. I, I will spend 
Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I just want to start spinning these out. So I'm going to spend redirect. Next defender. I gonna invade that? Nope. Okay. Because the accuracy is spent before your spend defense token step. Okay. Um, so where will I be? I need to check some ranges here. Plenty of range, okay. Alright, this defender will then just be up here with his buddies. Into the front. A hit, bomber command. A crit, I will go in and slow and reroll that. One accuracy, is there we go. And we'll get rid of this redirect. <laughs> this is Sloan, folks. It's what she do. I will then move this defender. Just jumping over a little bit. It's a crit. Reroll with Sloan. It's a hit. Reroll with Bomber Command. Back to a crit. You know, I'm gonna invade. Okay. Crit. So, back to crit. Okay, so I will. Do you have one more to go or not? One more to go. You do? Alright, so I'm going to. Just take it on the front shield. Okay. And I... And then last defender for this activation. Bring right up in here. All right, into the front. To hit, bomber command. To hit. I will redirect it, and I will get, go to the starboard side. You're it to the starboard. All right, and no shots because I wasn't in range. And last defender, unfortunately, is left to uh, do nothing. Just waiting. That's all. <clears throat> Currently, speak two. We're gonna do this little side shuffle now. Like so. Staying behind it's Big Brother. Okay, up next is Bright Hope. Bright Hope has a navigation and which it will be using. Uh Medine says, hey, you can turn it well, because I really don't anyways. It turns over here and goes up to speed two and gets closer to its squadron ball. All right, Kuat, it's a navigate, and I'm going to use it to drop to speed zero. And uh, if you're wondering, this is obstructed. Only one red dice for Kuat out the side, so no shot into foresight. Okay, up next is Medine, the MC-75. It is a navigation dial, which I will be using. Uh, I used it at the 1, and then I used Medine's extra little ability at the 3 to make that nice little move right there. Alright, we Do are now in the squad phase. Well, do uh, we have anything within range of the ion cannons first? That happens at the beginning of the round. Uh, it says at the end of the command phase. Yep, after we set commands. Okay. Um, and nothing was in range. Didn't think so, but I was hoping that the so this was. defender is going to just shift back like so. All right, then to your squads. All right, we're going to have Shara. Uh, let's see, we'll start with Shara. Actually, no, I should really show the YT twenty four. Yeah, let's start with the YT twenty four because rogue. And uh, let's see what far I can get him up. Let's see if I can get him up to attack one of your defenders. 
Probably the one on that side right there. He might be. Where he can get to. Him. Yeah, so he might be within range. Yep. There. So, yep. Yeah, he's going to fly up there. Okay, that's four blue. Yep, four blues. Three hits and an accuracy. Well, I don't have an accuracy. Um, can't reroll anything, so three hits coming in. Okay. Down to three. Okay, now Showers, is gonna, everybody else is just going to move. They cannot, unfortunately, not rogues. So Showers is going to move up three. Said Shower is moving up three. Four, I'm sorry. For some reason. Five. She can go five, that's right. So she's going to jump up in front of the YT and yeah, she's going to engage that one that's been wounded and the other one next to it. And maybe the one behind it. Not sure. Will she be engaged with the one behind it? She yes. Have? So she have three lock. Well, yep. That's where she'll go right there then. All right, that's it for round two, folks. We will be back for the start of round three. Hey, starting round three. Just as a reminder, I've got Corvus over here with Sloan at speed zero, Gina's light coming in hard at speed four. My Kuwais with Palpatine is also at speed zero. Quasar at speed two, Gazanti speed three. And we've got speed four, three. speed three, and speed two. two. And no ion and cannon shots. Nobody's in range currently. We're gonna start with my Quasar. Squadron command. Gonna command five of them. They will be over here. Need to deal with Shara. Mm. Is now in my base. We'll see what these defenders can do. All right, let's just find out exactly how many are engaged with Shara. She's getting everybody except that guy. Ah, so they get the fourth one. Okay. First, actually, we're gonna start with this guy, throwing a bombing shot into the front. Oh, okay. Of your MC thirty, since he is free. All right, one blue. I will spend your redirect with that. Yay. And then we are going to move this defender back. Like so. All right, now I'll start attacking Shara. So, Start with uh, this guy first. Be three blues, two blacks. Mm. I can't reroll any of this because Sloan is only when I'm attacking ships I get the reroll. Yep. So three damage. All right, well, we're going to brace it to two. And then we're going to counter two. She has counter three. Counter three, I'm sorry. Oh, I had to see it. Uh, two damage. And two damage, but I got you. All right, so two on the defender, two on Shara. All right, then we'll do this defender here. Three blues, two blacks. It's not a game if we don't drop a die. Yep. Alrighty. Stop your scatter, take three. That'll be a dead Shara. Well, yeah, it's dead no matter what. Yep. Yep. Race to two. No, well, she still gets to, to a counter though. Yep. So.
Count to three. Three damage. Nice. All right, then this defender will move back and go down to three health. All right, let's see, I get two more. So I've got yeah. this guy dealing with this YT. Mm -hmm. But first I'm gonna have this defender come over and work on the YT. Okay. As far back as he can go. Yeah, like so. That will be Three blues, two black. Four, three damage. Three damage. Can't do anything about that. Yep. And then we'll have this guy do the same. Just need three. And got it. Dang, damn it. Got rid of the YT, and then we will move him back because he is damaged and don't want Wedge to jump him. <laughs> so we'll come back to here. I think that's off screen. You guys can't see, but that's okay. Um, no shots for the Quasar. I'm not in medium range. And I will ram. So two, a face down for the Quasar, face down for the Kuat. All right. Up next is the GR-75. GR-75 has a squadron command. I will be having Dutch move first, and Dutch is going to be coming up and around towards that asteroid. We're going to see if we can get this wounded uh, defender here. Yep, he's in range. And with the range, luckily. So unleash all tor torpedo bays and... What's he get? He has three blues. Three blues, and I believe his crits count is activated. Three damage. Is that right? His crits count? Uh, I'm checking out the one. And... Nope, if you're already toggled, are you toggled already? Yep. Then you take a damage, yep. additional damage. So take three. Yep. Down to one. Wedge is going after the unwounded um, defender, if he can, within range, when he first. Let me check that. Yep, he can. Yep. And he's going after him, because he's already been activated. Six but blues. Six blues coming in. Let's hope it all hits. Four hits. Oh, I'll we'll take four. So down to two. Coming on around. Yep. Okay, Gazanti, Squadron Command. I have one final defender that has not gone yet. And he is gonna go... Is Dutch Heavy? I believe he is. Yes. Yes, yes it's heavy. Dutch is Heavy. So we are gonna keep working on this MC-30 then. Him out of wedge range. Plenty of out of wedge range. <laughs> and throw a blue up into the face of the MC30. See if we can't get rid of that last redirect. It's a hit, bomber command. It's a hit. You have one shield left on the front. Yeah, I know. Thing is, I'm thinking about evade as we crit, doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So, either way, it's actually a good thing for you. Um, because I do not want to burn that shield yet. I, if I get lucky, get an accuracy is the only thing. I'm going to try for the luck. So, okay, this is Lando's ship, so let's play a gamble. Let's gamble. Hit. No, that's it. So it's on the shield. All right, front shield's down. All right, and then I will do a side to front from the Gazanti itself. Mm-hmm. For an accuracy, can't do anything with that with the ship. And then I'll do a front to front into the MC-75.
for hit. So um, I'll just redirect it to the this side over here. To the starboard? Yep, starboard. All right, redirect to the starboard. All right, now for movement. Currently going speed three. I'm just moving like so. And set myself up to get blasted by the SMC-75, but that is okay. Rob wants to shoot at Mike Zant. All right, up next is Lando on the MC-30. You always usually give me an idea. And uh, so first of all, he is, it's an engineering command. He will be using it. I put up a shield in the front, and I will now be flacking at all four defenders in front. Well, yeah, all four defenders, because I get the side. So, yeah. So, we'll start with a defender close to Dutch so you there. get these out the front and this one out the side. Yep. So, we'll do the one in the front there by Dutch. Accuracy. For nada. Okay. Moving on. We're going for the one on one health, I believe, right? Yep. And you got him. All right. One down. Good. Next. Next. We'll move on to the other one in the front there. I believe it was way in the back. Thank you. Mm. Oh, let's just adjust that so you can see. He's right around there. Right there? All right. Now he's got three health, so let's see if we can at least Hit. knock him down. That's good. We'll knock him down a little more. Then up the side. For two health, he yeah. has. So let's see. I hit. All right, good, good flag in there, Lando. Good flag. All right, moving at speed four. I decided to go over here behind the quasar. And I'll be up. And I luckily did not run over anybody. To say navigate. Yep. Now for shots. We got back here. Do we have a medium range at my side and rear? Mm, looks like it'll be obstructed out the rear. So I think I'm going to shoot into the MC30. Okay. Because I'm at long range of the MC75. Don't want to waste shots on that yet. Okay, we'll start with the rear shot. It's red and a blue, gotta take one out. Uh, we'll do red, see if we go high. For a crit. Well, new medium, do larger. I can use my evade and not cancel it though. It's re-roll. It's re-roll. So, do I want to get a double? Not particularly. Back shields are two. I'll take it on the shield. Okay. All right, inside the rear. Red and a blue. Hit and a crit. Ah, see, now I'm kind of happy I did that. All right, inside the rear. We will do the... We'll evade the... Oh, crit's on red, huh? Well, they do red, the crit. Back to crit. Back to crit, of course. Ugh. Do I really want to burn that now? I only have one shield in the back. Correct. Not liking that too much. Mm, check in here. Nothing. I could have lent. I could have Lando make you roll both. And right now, that's probably the... Yeah, I'm going to have Lando I'll have you re roll both. Great. Good, bunch of you. <laughs> Lando is used up. Yep. Alright, rear 
your shields down to zero. I'm going to use my app dial to speed up speed one, get an extra click at the one. And move like this. And ram the Gazanti. Go back to where we were. And go back to where I was. And give a damage to my Gazanti. Okay, up is Medine in the MC-75. It is a navigation dial, which I will be taking. I am going to be shooting into the Gazanti from the side first. And from there, it depends on what happens. All right. Three red, two blue. two blue. And let's hope for an accuracy. Or two. No accuracy. No accuracy, but what do I got for reds over there where I can't quite see? A double and two singles. Ooh. Well, hmm. Well, I'll be re-rolling one of the singles because you're going to scatter anyways. Accuracy. All right. Well, we'll get that scatter. And I don't know. Okay, I'm sure I could have done that for me too. So what do I, can you move to the side, Ben, where I can see on that side? We got five damage. Five damage. And you have an evade. Yep. All I need to do is two. What do you mean? Well, three damage. You take it how much? You have like, what, two left? Besides the shields. I, two hole left. And two a hole shield. left and a shield, so you have three. So I do need to do three damage. I will... Caitlin showing the blues, hoping for another accuracy. So I get accuracy and the hit. And that'll All be right. it. All right, good. It's like Zanti goes down. It's like Lando's um, gambling is paying off on the Medine here. All right, now my front uh, front shot. My front shot. I'm gonna take a flak shot, which I only have one. I can get, I believe. And he's on one health, which is fine with me if I get rid of another one. What's your flat color? My flak is blue, blue and black. So I don't think I'm with a black, though. No, well, your flak is one black. What? Over here on the armored one, it says blue and black. On the card. Oh, that's because this is the wrong card. Okay. Yep, just need one damage on him. Yep, but we only have one blue going in, right? Nope, oh, you're in black range. I'm in black range, oh, good, okay. All righty, let's see if we can flack this guy out of here. Yep. Yep, all right, one more defender down. That is, I will use the Medine or the dial, it doesn't matter, Medine will say, to turn it to one and go right up here to the side. Slow it on the Raider to concentrate fire. Uh, I just won't use it. Um, spend my nap token. Speed up to speed one. And we will. Go like so. All right, up next is the Jaina's Light. And we're firing upon the Raider. It didn't fire, it's a engineering dial, which I take the token. Uh, okay, so it's two red and one blue coming out of the frontal arc. I do not have a side arc shot. And you're shooting me in my front? I am shooting you in your, well, all the way around is twos, am I correct? Yep. Shields. Uh, I will shoot you in your front, yes. Okay. It's reds and blue. A blank red, a hit, and an accuracy. Okay, now I will use. Okay, so act, let's do the accuracy first, I guess. Um, I will accuracy your evade. No, actually, your brace. Never mind. So, accuracy your brace. Not that this is really going to matter too much, I think. And I will spend a evade to do TRCs to turn that blank into a double. Or, yep, don't we? Yep. And that's what I can do. I'll be re roll the double. Yep. To a hit. Okay. Two damage. Alright, I'm going to be doing a circle around the raider here. 
and uh, hopefully staying on the board because I got to make sure I stay on the board for next turn. Here we go. All right, and that is it for everything for round three. We will set dials and be back at the start of round four. All right, start of round four. Things are getting a bit hairy now. Got a lot of close contact. And I will be starting with my Quasar. <clears throat> and I'm sure surprised no one, it is a squadron command. No. <laughs> I'll be activating squads, continuing to go after Foresight. All right, no more bomber command, which is unfortunate. But should not be an issue. So first we're going to grab this guy. Since Dutch is heavy, he can't lock me down. Right. Bring him over here into the back, which has no shields. Correct. Accuracy will spend your redirect. Then... We'll do this guy on three health, who's already in range, and then we'll move him afterwards. Hit. Oh, that's right. I keep thinking of roll again because of bomb command or something. Um, I... Wow. I'm going to take a gamble and evade. It is Lando's ship, so... Accuracy. Good. And then we will move him over to here. Then let's see, we'll take this guy that's on six health. Onto the back. Crit. And I'll leave it. Well, I will evade and see what we get. The green evade, I get. That's really matters with our Hit. Uh, I have to take damage on that one. Okay, face down. And then my last surviving defender. You make it sound like it's your last surviving attendant. <laughs> no, it's not my last. I should say my I last know. activating defender. I'm just, I'm just teasing it. But he's on two health. So actually, can I put him back here? Still be... This could be close. Up that cross the line, so he has to be over here. Yep. All right, we'll just squeeze him in as best we can. Okay. One blue into the back. Hit. Mm. You know, I'd rather take a face down than a face up. So. Just not feeling the gamble right there. I'm not feeling it. Two health remaining. Yep. All right, then the Quasar is going to shoot. So first, rear to rear. The one blue. Crit. Yeah, we feel gambling now. We're going to basically uh, spend that. Yep. Hit. Mm. Do you have a side shot? Yep. You do. I do. And it is, what's their dice on size? Two blues. Two blues. Well, mm, this is going to hurt. I'll take it. I One know. health remaining. I know. I know. Well, I got two blue coming, so. Side shot. Hit crit. Okay, first of all, I will evade, burn that evade, see, get rid of, see what the crit does. Should we roll the crit, I mean. Two hits. Two hits. Then I'll burn 
Oh boy. Yeah, I'll burn the. Uh, well, you have to. They're dead. Right. And I will put it on the. What do I have on my starboard side? Three. Three. And my port side, I should have three as well, right? Mm -hmm. So we will go for starboard. Okay. Actually, no, your starboard has two. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, then go for the port side. Okay. Port down to one. All right, then I move and I ram my ship again. Okay, up next is M. Medine in the MC-75. It is an engineering dial, which I cannot use because I haven't taken any damage or anything, so it's just going to be discarded. All right, moving on. Firing. We're going to be firing out my side into the yeah, quad. What defense token are you going to spend? I will spend a contain. Okay. It's three red and two blue. Three red, two blue. And did I put something on? Two accuracies, three hits. Or a crit and two hits, I should say. Crit and two hits? Alright, uh, two accuracies, you said? Mm -hmm. And your defense tokens right there, so I'll do a brace and pff, redirect. It doesn't matter. With a brace, I will. Accuracy of brace and one redirect, the top redirect will say if you want. Be okay. Picky. Um, all right. And actually, I probably should not have done that. Well, you're not locked in. So I will take that red accuracy away and I will instead use LTTs and reroll it. Great. I was going to say, if you said another accuracy. <laughs> All right, um, check and make sure you got anything else. I can't show Which What was the blue one over there? Can a I, hit. It's a hit. I'm doing this. I'll take the blue and the red, one red hit. Not the... Okay. Okay, blue and red hit. Um, I'm gonna reroll both of those with Caitlin showing. You can only do one color with cake and showing. Oh, I'm sorry, you're correct. So then I'll do the red then. The red hit, sorry. So using cake and showing for one dice? One. Yeah, I know. Open a double. It is a double. Good. Then I'll PDIC. Back to a crit. Well, it's all right. Well, all right. I'll redirect. Three to my starboard. Take one on the front. Okay, front oh, shot. Frontal shot. I'm gonna go for the quasar though. I am gonna go for the quasar. So, three blue, two black. Nope, just three blue. Oh, that's right. My bad. Well, it's actually don't matter. It's only one black anyway. I'll just do it anyway. But three blue to yep. my side. Okay. Yep. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. Oh, I can't do anything else about that. So I'll brace and redirect to my front. So front shields down. Yep. So go out. Oh. Takes one. And, and I take one. Yep, MC-75 takes one. All right, we'll just leave it here. I'll be going with my Kuat next. Switch this around, get a little different angle. So Palpatine on the Kuat is an engineering. We'll use just the dial, not the token. We'll raise a shield on mm -hmm. the front. Mm -hmm. And raise a shield on the starboard. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do a side to rear into the MC30. Red and blue. And one what? crit. Oh, dang. Did see the blank red. And thought, oh. <laughs> it was a ruptured engine. But Lando goes down. 
I should have went with him first. I was, I'll be honest, I was really shocked you didn't. I was like, you could probably blow my quasar to hell. <laughs> yeah, but it was one And of then run away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, then we're going to do a front to, what do I want? We'll do front to side. Okay. So that'll be three blacks, two blues, and three reds. Pretty good so far. I do want some black crits though from APT, so we will ordinate these two. Nope. So that'll be, I'll stop your brace and redirect. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be six damage. Two reds are crits. Okay. So PDIC. The crit, red crit, that be the one. Double. Oh, even better. Okay, why not, so right? Seven damage. All it. right. So now we will use electronic comment measures to use my brace. Okay, down to four. And that's four, so it's something going in. There's a crit you said there? Yep. So I will check, make sure nothing else, and I do not see anything else. So I am going to use my green contain just to make sure I do not take a face up. Yep, I'm taking one face down. Yep. All right, then movement. Currently at speed one. I'm just gonna do this little turn here. I'm just going to need to eyeball it. Yeah. All right, to... so nice yep. double arc. Yep. All right, um, all right, CR90, James Light. She's got a navigation dial. She'll be using it. We're going to slow it down to speed three. So you want to take shots first? Yeah, and since Ben is a judge in November, we will mm -hmm. go by his name. Yep, you're actually just missing my rear arc. Oh, darn. Yep, but even if you did, you would not have had line of sight. You'd be crossing my line. Okay. So, so it's only a side shot. Yep, you can do side to side or side to front. The front has no shields. All right, we'll do side to front. And key to key. All right, red and blue. Yep. Accuracy blank. blank. But we'll turn the blank into a, ooh, double or a crit. Crit, oh no, wait, do you have contains? Nope. No, you have um, evades. Yep. So I'll leave a double. Okay. And what are you gonna accuracy? And I'm gonna accuracy, what else do you got besides the, oh there it is, right there. Um, brace. Might as well. I mean, you had two doubles. An accuracy, an accuracy, great. Okay, yep. cool. Okay. In Europe? Yep. Sloan. Concentrate fire. I'm in medium range, so I will take a medium range shot with my blue. Into, I'll do rear to front on fire. Uh, stop your redirect, take one. Uh, shields on that side, Ben, one of the shields over there. Two. Two. That's right, he hasn't been hit yet. I'll just take it on the shield. Like so. Uh, squadron command, and I measured it out earlier, and I can reach both my squadrons, Dutch and Wedge. Um, Dutch is going to come in, he's going to come right down the middle between the two defenders up front in front of him. Mm -hmm. And he is going to fire on, if you please tell me the two healths right there. Two. Six, six, two. Alright, coming after the two. Like a right wing. Uh, no, still alive. Okay, well we can't do anything about... Wait, was he within Torn Far's range? No. 
No, okay, gonna take a look in just a case. <laughs> All right, sending wedge in then. Wedge is gonna come right next to Dutch. Because I believe you'll be able to lock them down and just be annoying. Um, he is going to go after the one with one health left because it's best to at least get rid of one of your guys and none. Six blues. Just need one. Yeah. Got it. All right. I probably would not have gotten six with that roll either. All right. Oh, that's real closer than I thought. It is. But so I to made it. Yeah, okay. All right, that's everything. So, end of round four. We'll be back for the start of round five. Okay, start of round five. And again, things still pretty hairy. And we're just gonna drop right into here for this broadside action going on, because I am starting with my Kuat with this nice double arc. Mm hmm Into the MC-75. Mm hmm It's an engineering. I was expecting to get shot at more. That's all right. We'll just raise my final two shields on my starboard side. Then we're going to do side to side, then front to side. Into Maydeen. There are no shields there, for those wondering. All right, two blacks, a red and a blue. Start is off. Oh, so far, so good. Um, can't do anything with this red. And I check what I have. So I will stop your brace and a hit, crit, and a hit. Hit, crit, and a hit. Well, PDIC the hit, crit. Hit crit. That's still left. <laughs> Lando's luck has left him with the left with the building. All right. Uh, I'll ECM or look, yeah, use my ECMs. I used ECM last time. Last time? time? Okay. Yeah. Well, then I can't do that either. Um, well, there's not much else I can do. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else I can do now. Yep, check that. Did that. Did that. Yep. Nothing else? I don't. Uh, that's right. I got other defense tokens besides Brace. I can redirect, which I will redirect. How much is coming in? Three. Three. Ooh. Back as three. Mm. I'll send it to the back because I do not trust your squadrons or your quasar. <laughs> right, well, first redirect, then I'm going to do my APT on this one, structural damage. And then three damage to the back. Yep. Shields down. Yep, shields down. Now for the front shot, three blacks, two blues, three uh, reds. This is going to hurt. That's the hope. <laughs> no, the hope's on the other side. But anyway. Um, I can get these accuracies that I need. I will go ahead and get a little greedy. Mm. You'll ordinance both these blacks. Yeah. All right, I will stop your brace again. And this will be, well, actually, actually, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. I only have five left. Uh, so it's almost the same difference no matter what. <laughs> yep, we will stop your brace, seven damage. Okay, do we have any crits in there at all? Three red crits. Three red crits. Well, I'll PDIC one. Kind of scared, but. Accuracy. That's good. So next thing I'm down. All right. So that down to six now. Mm hmm. All right. And that's still going to be death, unless I do something. 
which I can't brace. I can redirect, and I can redirect to the front. Do four to the front, unless, okay. I, have, unless I have less than that. Um, oh, you have four in the front and two internal. And two internal, which I'll spend my contain if I and crits are going in. Yep. All right. Three health remaining. Whew. And for my movement, I'll just keep doing slow little turn. What you do best. Okay. And I'll just eyeball this here. Not the move ships or anything. Like so. Oh, wow. Thought you were going to go for a ram. All right, to you. All right. Well, I think it's going to have to be the MC-75. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll be in the same. Navigate. It's a navigate. Uh, most likely be using it. Okay. I will spend my engine, uh, let's see, now. Question is, do I put up two shields to hopefully mitigate some kind of damage? Anyways, I guess I don't do the token quite yet. I uh, know now is when you need to decide. Okay, so do I want to do that? And my defense tokens are over there. Okay, so tough decision, but I was. I will spend the, um, the defense, the, the um, engineering token to raise up two shields. It's one shield. One shield. Um, both the side and the back have a zero. And the front. And the front. Well, I'm looking at your cuckoo lot, to be honest. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put it on the side. And I'm going to put it on the side, right on that side right there, yeah. Just in case there is one missing on the other side. All right, so that is that. Now, firing. Well, side shot, definitely into the quad. Okay. What defense token would you like to spend? The green container. Okay. Okay. Right. Three reds. Three reds, two blues. Three reds, two blues. Full shield health for myself. Accuracy and five damage. Accuracy and five damage. No crits or anything? No crits. All right. So, uh, what do I have in the reds over there? A double and a hit. A double and a hit. We'll take the hit. Red hit. We will re-roll it with the Link Turbo Lasers. Great. Good. All right. And then the other blue be well, the blues, the two blues over there. Hits. Both hits. Uh, because you have, full, so you have three shields inside? Yep. And I'm doing five. Five right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, anyways. So. I will leave it, but with my, because of Krista Gate, I am going to flip over my, one of my contains. There you go. What are you accuracy? I'm going to accuracy your brace. Okay. Now will you see him and use it? Yeah. Didn't and then I will redirect. Let's brace the three. Send two to the back. Take one on the side. Okay, and then my... F yeah, back shot's not gonna do much. Front shot could... Get a couple blues into your quasar. 
which I'm not sure it's going to do much. And I do not believe blue black for flak. Only blue could reach. I doubt black could reach any air defenders. So I am going to take my three blue and the front chart into your. What is your shield to the front? Zero. Then right into your front. Three blues into your front. Okay. An accuracy, a hit, and a crit. Accuracy, hit, crit. Well. Well, I will accuracy your race, make you spend the shield. Uh, okay. And then, was that contained turned over from last time from the crit from Crystal? Mm -hmm. So it's not red? It is red. You had two red crit contains. Okay, then I'll use this crit to turn the other one over. Oh, this exhaust. Oh, she's exhausted. Never mind, doesn't matter. So, so anyway. And I'll redirect to my starboard side. No, I'm doing this because I have shields on that side. And if your quasar gets a little snarky and wants to try to do something. So doing that? Yes. Okay, slowing down to two. We ram. Yep. We both take a face down. Yep. All right, I'll go with my quasar. Squadron Command. Surprise to no one. Two health left on the MC-75. <clears throat> All right, well, first we're gonna send this defender up here. Bomb me in the front. And no shields on the front for those that are curious. Bama, come on in. It's a hit. Okay, I will PDIC it. It's an accuracy. All right, then we'll have these defenders. Um, we'll start with this one that's right in the midst. Attacking wedge. Got a wedge, all right. Three blues, two blacks. Three damage. Brace it. Down two. And the next one. Let's see launch bar. Four damage. Break green brace that one too. Okay, down to one for wedge. And my shots. Front to front of the MC-75, three blues. Three damage. Well, we're going to PDIC first. Oh, yes. Well. PDIC. Can't forget it. Well, three damage. Three damage. Yes. Then I'm um, gonna brace, mm -hmm. contain, doesn't really matter. Yep because it goes down. So I was hoping that the uh, PDIC would help, but... There was a good chance. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's a 25 And I'm happy that I didn't forget it. Normally yes. I do. So. Important not to forget those things. Then I'm gonna flag out the side at Dutch and Wedge. I'll start with Wedge. Wedge goes down. And Dutch, nothing. And now for some movement. At speed a dose. We're just gonna go straight, I think. Or maybe turn. With, uh, yeah, we'll turn. See if we can't take care of this Gazanti mm -hmm. round six. Like so. TR-75. Yep. All right. 
GR75, turn fires up. She's looking at everybody else go down. She's got squad command. She'll be using it because she's got Dutch left. All right. Who's Dutch attacking? Dutch will attack. Well, okay. Do uh, you want to tell me the health on those two guys again? Which one on the front? They're both six. Both are six. So we'll take out the guy in the front. Please, that. Please be a crit. One damage. No crit. No, one damage. Wait, and he's not with the range of Torn Far. Uh, he might be. Because I would re-roll one. He is. Oh, then re-roll one of those. Re-roll an accuracy. Accuracy. Another hit. All right. Well, I'll take that from the deck. I'll take it. I don't care. Yeah, I think she's going to go straight. Okay. Come on, on in straight. Yep. You're up. Bring it on over here to Sloan. It's Confire. Just in case you were going to come in closer on me. Let's take a token because I'm not in range to shoot. If I slow down. And just going further. Speed one. Alright, then your CR90. Which is still not within range, and I'll leave the red at least. Yeah, you've got a red. Oh, alright, okay, well. Out the side. Uh, I don't have it. No, I don't have it out the front. Yep, out the side. Engineering. Engineering, which. I believe I have some shields down. You do? And I will... It takes two to raise one, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll raise one. Uh, yep, on the front. All right. Take one shot at Sloan because... Why not? I evade. Yep. And... Now, we are going to be going to speed three. Speed three. Four. And lock around and go. Alrighty, that is it for round five. Not much left, so we'll be back <laughs> at the start of round six. <laughs> Okay, so that was a pretty interesting battle, and uh, the final <laughs> points came out to where I got 301, right. Rob got uh, 79, which makes it a 222 margin of victory, which is a 92 if we are thinking about tournament points. 220 is the cutoff for that. So, Rob, why don't you tell me about the battle, what you thought and everything? Definitely some major mess-ups. I did in the beginning. Um, I am rusty, and we're going to leave that, but uh, <laughs> the placement of the ion cannons um, was bad on my part. Should have been more towards the middle or maybe semi-circle towards his end, so that way he would have, hopefully, have to run into one instead of at the end at round six, where if there was a round seven, he would have got shot by one. Um, the other thing that I personally did wrong was, <laughs> okay, let was set up for a minute. Um, Bright Hope had parts resupply, and I'm sure you, know, you noticed that I never used it. And uh, that's because everybody did their own engineering. <laughs> so and she had to use be pushing squads, which she did well with pushing squads, by the way. So I'm very happy with Tarn. Um, so that, that car was kind of a wasted. Um, or I used it, used it incorrectly, depending. The MC30, I kick myself for not starting off with that first to try and hopefully take out his Quasar, which would have helped in the long run, not sure how much, but it would have helped, and then it could have ran away, um, because then he would not be able to activate all his defenders to chase it down and destroy it. The MC75. Its hope was to get in there and help take out the Quasar. I was trying to ignore, which doesn't look like it, but trying to ignore the um, Kuat and get to the Quasar and have my CR-90 go for Sloan. Sloan 
Putin's ship was annoying uh, because get a shot, evade, shot, evade, shot, evade, and it's like only had one shot. So, but you know that happens. They're both small ships. I think you what did two took out two shields maybe on mine. C ninety one shield. Yeah, so that was going to be one of those things where they'd be shooting back and forth at each other. My squadrons, I was so happy to use Wedge and uh, Dutch again. I have not used them in a while. And they did pretty good. Chara did good until she got obliterated. And the YT 2400, I was pretty happy with it until I ran them in too quick. I should have held back just a little bit and maybe held them around the MC 30 or MC 75 just to protect. Um, unfortunately, Wedge is heavy and can't stop people from... Dutch is heavy. Yep. See, I keep saying Wedge, by the way, if you notice we're watching the video. <laughs> so, but uh, Dutch is heavy and was unable to stop anybody from moving. Uh, but I was, the squadron play, I was, uh, besides my place moving them in too quickly, I was actually happy with them. So this list, like I said, was di difficult. Did you ever try to make a list and try too hard? You know, when you're making one and go, oh, and you get so frustrated and you find like, oh, that, that, that's it, I'm done. Well, as I was telling Ben off camera in the beginning, I tried this list several different ways. I mean, I have like, I think this is like version four that I was going through. And I was just thinking too much on it. I should have just, Went with the gut and said, okay, this is what I want the fleet to do. Let's do it. And I, so we'll see. I would like to add, or I would like to do two MC-30s and I'm not sure if it can or not, put the MC-75 together. I think that would be a really interesting looking fleet, a fun fleet. That means I have to take out Bright Hope, which was very difficult for me. Ben has his things, but he doesn't like to take out things. Um, and Bright Hope is hard for me to take out because, well, she's a legend on my side. Staying up against an SSD and even making it out today, which I didn't think she was going to make it out today. I actually was kind of surprised that she did uh, because her back end was to you almost all the time. So at the end. But I uh, was so, but, but taking out three defenders was something big for me. Ben's defenders, as we know, are built like tanks and hit like tanks. And especially on Sloan list. Uh, but I was very proud that I actually took out three. And those last three, actually, you had two sixes and a three hull left. I think, or something like that, or maybe a far hull left defender. Something like that. Yeah, so they, they were pretty much full. So taking them out would have been a little bit longer, and um, I was trying to flak as much as possible, because one die, um, well, I thought he'd be bringing some aces. I was really envisioning him bringing Vader, Merrick coming in when he says defenders. That's what I think of first, right away. And then the rest of the defenders. So I was like, oh boy, he's going to have AIDS and all that. Oh, look, one die. Oh boy, he has a brace. It's not going to do him any good. Um, so, but anyways, that's what I thought about my fleet. The mission might, did not play well. And uh, yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to make Medine, who I do enjoy playing. He can make some really interesting maneuvers um, happen. Please do. Write down below and... Uh, We'll get back to that, and uh, just like we did before, and we'll work on that. Because I would like to make him my next commander I work for, for any kind of tournament I play as such. Whether it be here, or wherever else we go. Home Star, whatever. Yeah. Alright, well, so I was pretty happy with the way my fleet performed, and the defenders. Um, I think having the 8-point bomber command is worth it, it helped me fish. Oh, yeah. Um, and I got accuracies um, a couple times out of that by fishing with Bomber Command. Mm -hmm. um, and really the only thing that I would say I, I was, I mean, the only thing I would say that I think I did wrong was I 
last round should have just activated the Quasar and killed Dutch. But it didn't make a difference. Um, I got a 9-2 anyway, and killing Dutch would not have made that matter. Um, but it wouldn't have risked me potentially losing another defender, which would have mattered. So that's probably what I should have done. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way I played and mm -hmm. uh, was able to avoid all the ion cannons. The way that, I mean, when Rob set it up that way, that's why I decided to slow roll my fleet. So <laughs> um, there's no meat and just let Rob come to me. Yeah. And which is why I was fine with going to zero, um, letting the Quasar ram into the back of the Kuat, just keeping my formation static and out of range of black dice for his um, two close range ships. Wow. Yeah. So if I didn't mess up with the MC thirty anyways. <laughs> I think I had a chance with the black range with them. Before it died. Yeah, but you didn't go yeah. with them. Right. So I'm just saying. <laughs> so when you didn't go with them Right. I mean I don't know, man. One health left, no shields, no defense tokens. Oh, no, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. I'm, it was. I'm not sure on that it one. It was waving but, the white flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. If you would have gone with that one, you probably would have killed the quasar and yep. gotten out of range with the kuat. So. And I was thinking about that because I was thinking to do a combo where, if the MC30 did not kill off the quasar, then the MC75 possibly had a better chance of doing whatever damage it could to maybe kill it off because uh, with their combined strength I mean it's only three blue in the front for the MC-75 but it might have been enough again these are all might ofs ifs and all that jazz so but I should have gone with the MC-30 and hopefully made your Quasar a little more at least a little more worried about it and uh, with Sloan, did what I wanted to do. It basically took the, t the uh, CR-90 out of the game. Um, I mean, a CR-90 against a Raider m might kill it eventually. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's, the, that's, it's basically drawing away another potential source of damage that Rob could have used. And hopefully I can use that in the future. You know, if people want to chase after Sloan, please feel free. Um, and then if it, depending on the threat that goes after slow, and I, you know, will determine what speed I want to go at and running away and that kind of thing. So in other words, I helped Ben break his um, thing about being putting slow on the main ship. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I like the defenders. The only thing I might change as far as this particular fleet, and I was trying to do it, I would have liked to have Commander Woldar. He's four points. There are some defender against squad shots that could have been more efficient with a reroll um, but that's four points I have to find somewhere I'm not sure where but he's also not 100% requirement it just makes my Gazanti more expensive when it dies because that's who I would put it on because I need him to be within range one to three mm -hmm. so again not sure if that would be worth it or not but overall I like the setup and yeah you know as far as uh tweaking this base build, a Sloan Defender list. Um, I'll just tell you right now, uh, no Onagers, because I know everyone will be, well, because that's what everybody does that with a Sloan Defender list. And I just, I just, you know, Onagers I think are a crutch, um, which is why we saw them all over the place at Worlds. And for my money, if you face the wrong, I mean, an ISD will be able to, is always better than an Onager in my opinion. It's more expensive, but you know. You guys know my opinion on onagers as far as um, them being a crutch. So, but anyway, any other thoughts? Let me know. I don't know when I'll play this again because I don't want to oversaturate it because we got a long way to July. Yep. But anyway, this is was a good first time experiment. The next time I do this, I might try it with the eight defender version just so I can just have endless defenders. Because um, you can fit eight defenders. I think it's 133 points hmm. when you have eight defenders for squadrons. Um, wow. It might be right out on 134, because that math doesn't work out. I think it's exactly 134, but anyway. And I'll just have to find two more defenders. But, overall, I thought it played well. And I like being first. I love that everybody likes to be make me first player, because that's what I prefer doing. Well... <laughs> I love being first you're, player. You're playing Sloan, so. so me being first player means I pick almost every squad thing that would give you an extra points, I think. 
which I guess is not much more points you could have got. You could have got a ten table, I guess. I don't know. But well, I mean, it just depends on what missions you pick. Right. I know. But uh, mine was not squadron heavy, so I was more of a. I don't know. I was just thinking, eh, it's not a good idea to pick with Sloan when to have to pick your your missions. Well, just keep in mind that when you let Sloan go first, it means that Slo you give Sloan the opportunity to go after you before you can do anything else and strip tokens away. Before you can send True. your own squads in and lock them down. Or let so. your MC-30 take out the at least the uh, carrier. Yeah. Um. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... Pluses and minuses being first and second, but I love being yeah. first, so I love it that. Every, that's why I don't care about going right at 400. Everybody seems to always want to be second. I'm like, that's great. So, uh, I only went sec. I only went uh, second once in my last game against Trent. Out of seven games I played over Depticon, everybody picked first. So it's funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, you are used to going first almost every time. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I pick. If I had the choice, I'd pick first. So, but um, we're rambling long enough. Yes. So don't forget about the giveaway. Subscribe and comment to my March and April videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take it easy.